Hello coders, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are not actually going to be coding. Um, this is reference project and I actually am filming this out of order. Uh, but you will be coding this, uh, which if I can find the run function, yeah, there we go. You will be learning how to code this and an actual jumping off point for a lightweight Java game library. However, um, we are just going to be in this video setting up the project. So, go over to your internet browser. I use Opera, but you know, you can use whatever you want, obviously. And I'm going to put the link in the description lightweightjavagamelibrary.org. Uh, again, this link will be in the description, but just go over here and go to customize release and in here we are going to go into presets and we're just gonna click getting started we don't need any of these um actually in our tutorial i think we use jamal so yeah you have to add this in as well and you just go after you make sure all this looks the same as mine, obviously, uh, you just download the zip. And this should take a little bit, but not too long. And once that is downloaded, uh, you open up your downloads and just go into, obviously, your downloads. I have a bunch of things in here, but we are going to focus on our downloads. So if we open that up, you're going to see a ton of these jars. Now, we don't use all of them in our project, but I like to just add them just in case. So what we're going to do is we're going, going to go over to our IDE, and we are going to create a new project. And you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this OpenGL uh, F because, like, I already created the OpenGL tutorial project, and yeah. And what we're going to do is we are going to uh, right-click, and you're going to go to New, and then Folder. Now, you can call us wherever you want. I like to call it Lightweight Java Game Library. Um, and yeah, once you do that, you're going to go over to your zip file, and you are going to select all of the jars and then is that there so i just have to exclude that and you're just going to drag it and drop it i'm not going to drag it and drop it cancel um why do you want to open them windows okay hang on i just have to create a uh folder and just put those in here so just do that and then just go in here and then select all of these. And then you select anything that's not a jar. Uh, so that and that. And then I'm just going to put these into... Actually, I'm going to create a... I have to open a new window. So, sorry about this. I know this is a little out of order, but it's fine i don't know uh it's necessary because my computer doesn't like jar files windows is kind of stupid all right uh just put those into that and now we can do this and just uh do all this and then uh right click copy and now we can go over to our id select the folder and just click paste and now you should have a, a folder with all the jars. Now we're not done yet. We actually have to create a user library. So once we do that, we can go into our build path, configure, no, not configure build path, add libraries, make sure you click user library. And then you're not gonna have this here. So you're gonna click on user libraries, new, Name it whatever you want. 
I'm going to just type a bunch of numbers, um, not numbers, letters. And then after you create the library, you're going to click Add Jars, open up your project, and then the folder, and just select all of these. You can also do Add External Jars. That is um, also something you can do. I just do it like this, though. So, And that should be good. And then you can just apply and close, finish, and make sure it's ticked. If you don't get it up here, then uh, you probably unticked it, and you just have to go to Add Libraries, User Library, and just tick it and make sure it's ticked. But I already have mine in, so it's not going to let me do that. Um, and yeah, and that is how you create and actually set up the uh, OpenGL project. And in the next video, I'm actually going to show you how to uh, create a window and render. And in those videos, uh, I'm filming this out of order, as I said. But in those videos, I did plan on putting them all as one big video but it was a little bit longer than expected so I'm going to break those into three separate videos that are all going to upload uh, pretty soon so it's not going to be a huge time difference in between uh, but I did say uh, I did like break it into segments uh, and I set it and recorded it as if, as if I was going to do one video but I'm breaking into three videos so that being said, once you have all this done, you can actually start coding. And again, I created some videos on that. So that's it for today's video. It's a pretty short video. Uh, just showing you how to get set up and everything. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you guys in the next video.